This is Andy Purwell for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I am joined by light heavyweight giant Shakan Peters over Zoom. Shakan, Happy New Year. I hope you, you was able to celebrate all as best as what you could in these times. Did you get up to much? Not really, man. Not with these rules that Boris has got in place. There's not much that uh, anyone could generally do. Um, so I just uh, chilled out, caught with the one and two family members over Christmas and um, years. But apart from that, just chilled out, really. Jack, this is the first time we've had a chance to catch up since your fight and your, your first professional career loss to Shakam, to Shakam, but to uh, Craig Richards. Um, take me back to that night first and foremost, kind of reflecting on it now. You've had in and around a month to, to look back on it. What's your thoughts? Um, it's one of those, man. I made a mistake in the fight um, and obviously just got made to be punished with it. But um, we don't... There's one or two things we probably could have done better as well, you know. Looking back at, looking back at the uh, actual fight, but um, it's just one of those. Like I said, I've been saying to everyone, you know, it's boxing, it's the sport we're in. Um, things happen. It's just um, for me now. I'm just focused on coming back stronger, which I will, and um, you know, get get myself where I need to be in my career. Reflect on the fight itself for me, Shaq, because obviously I watched it when I came back yeah, yeah. from Texas and it seemed to be we saw you maybe planting your feet a bit more, looking to exchange a bit more than what people have become a bit more accustomed to seeing of you. What was kind of a, the, the, the tactics and the plan on the night? Um, like, the state, like I said, you know, I was holding my feet a lot more. Um, we went for a lot of things over camp. Um, I believe, obviously, it's something where we was executing it well. Like I said, in the fight we were winning, if you have uh, if you look back on two of the judges' cards, I was up on the official cards. Um, but yeah, it was just, you know, hold my feet a bit more, pushing back, um, just use my attributes and things. And, you know, it's just, as I say, <laughs> one of those things, man, the night just obviously didn't work out for us. I've just got to reflect on going forward now in my own career and in the right goal, you know, carry on going in the right direction, which I will do. There's always a lot of talk about kind of how a fighter will react when they lose their O, and there's a lot of pressure on fighters maintaining their O, something which has been spoken about a bit more recently, uh, especially when you know when you look at the UFC fighters all the time, they can lose their O, but opportunities are still there regardless. It's not uh, as spoken about in such a negative way mm. as what it is in boxing. <coughs> when you lost to Craig, kind of how did you feel and react to it? Yeah, I took it, I took it hard because... Um... You know, in life in general, for me, man, I always want to win on things. I'm very competitive. So, yeah, I did take it hard. Um, I got no shame in saying that because I'm not someone and I'm not someone who's going to accept, you know, like losing in the terms of like, oh, yeah, you know, it's taking part that counts. Or that. I've never been that kind of person. You know, I've always wanted the best out of myself. So I did take it hard. I had, um, like I said, good people around me who, um, you know, reassured me, spoke to me. Um, and obviously I just had to reflect on the positives in my career um, where I am so far and how short of a time I've come where I am but um, also what we're going to do to get better so um, you know that was the thing automatically for me um, even when I watch fights when I win or lose whatever um, when I win um, I always look at what I can do better I never watch anything to feel like you know oh look I won this fight look what I'm doing I, I always watch it to see what I can do better so um, yeah I did I did take it a bit hard, but um, like I said, man, my city's been behind me here in Birmingham and the boxing fans, the messages have been grateful and um, we'll be back stronger for sure, definitely. Talks about the plans of then moving into this year, Shaq, what have you kind of started to discuss with your team and what what's kind of your route back towards the, the top? Obviously, I want to carry on fighting people who's at the top tier anyway, so, um, you know, whoever's up within, you know, the top 10 or so in the rankings or even someone who's you know anyone with a decent winning record or whatever I'm not trying to have no warm-up step-up fights whatever obviously as I say you know we was winning that fight um this, in boxing you do any mistake then uh things happen but um I'm we're just going to focus on ourselves hopefully be back out in March or something and um yeah go again man it's it's one of those things, isn't it? Like in life, you, you got to take the good with the good, the bad with the bad, and um, just keep pushing on. And there's some people who can bounce back from things like this. Me and myself, I know I can bounce back anyway. But um, it's all about, for me now, you know, how I go and bounce back. It doesn't matter what anyone else wants to think or say because, you know, they've not walked a mile in my shoes or 
done a day of what I do. Um, for me, it's all about proving to myself only um, what I can do in my character. And I'm sure it will show anyway, because, you know, I'm someone like that. Um, I always want the best out of myself, always expect top quality um, for myself. And I'm going to continue to work on that and keep improving as a fighter to be the best I can be. I've seen in, in other interviews, Shaq, you've highlighted how you would like to have the Craig Richards rematch and you'd like it as soon as possible. Do you think that is realistic? It could be your next bout or do you think you're going to have to go down a different route? Realistically, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, reason being, obviously, I'd imagine, you know, he's been on the British team for long um, and he'll probably want to push on. That's fine. Um, I'm also saying... You know, I'm, I'm going to want to push on myself as well uh, and do stuff. Um, I'm sure we'll meet down the line again. It's not something where I'm running around calling anyone out. I've never approached my career that way. Um, you know, every fighter in the division, I wish them the best. If we meet, we meet. You know what I mean? There ain't no mad hate with me and Craig. You know what I mean? Like, we, it's just boxing. We're both competitive um, to sport we're in. Um, you know, we spoke after, I wished him the best, congratulated him, same likewise, but I'll push on my career, you know what I mean, with or without Craig, or with or without any boxers, other other boxers, um, I'm always going to focus on myself and, um, you know, elevating my career, which is what we're all in it for, to elevate ourselves, so that's what I'm going to remain doing and continue doing. Moving forward, Shaq, I just want to get your thoughts on a few of things. Just stick with the gym for now. Uh, obviously, Sam Eggington fought the week before yourself of, and with a victory over Ashley Fairfang, stopping him. Just reflect on that. What, what did you make of Sam's performance? Brilliant performance against um, a veteran boxer. You know, Ashley Fairpain, you know, he's got a good background story. He's won British titles, other things as well. And he's very experienced in the game. Um, so... Nevertheless, um, Sam performed really good. You know, he's, he won every round clear. He's very aggressive. He showed a lot of improvements, what he's um, been working on and made in the gym anyway. And um, it's good to be around that kind of fighter in the gym. You know, he's always himself um, improving. And again, he's a fighter who took not backs himself. And um, he's had to do within himself to come back um, and get himself to these uh, stages again. And he's won so much you know, belts and he's achieved a lot in his career and he's young. Sam's what, only, I think he's 28 or something like that. Or, or, I might be wrong, he might even be 26, I don't know. But Sam's young, man, um, and he's only going to keep improving. So it's good uh, It's good to see that, you know, the kind of fights he's been in and the victory, what he got. It was a very impressive performance, very solid. Moving away from Sam, but to move back up to, to your division and to discuss some other fights that either have been and gone or could be coming up. Start off with one that happened uh, a couple of weeks before you fought. We saw Lyndon Arthur defeat Anthony Yard. Just your thoughts on Lyndon's victory, Shakan? Yeah, a good fight, man. I mean, he done what he had to do. Um, he, you know, he was solid behind the jab. He was very... Um, very focused throughout the fight, you know what I mean, for the whole round. Too. Um, but Lyndon's a good fighter, you know, and so is Yard. Um, it'd be interesting if they both have the rematch or whatever it might be. But, um, yeah, it was a good fight. I, um, watched it, I thought he boxed good. Um, you know, he's, he's got a really good jab. He's really solid. He's got a good IQ. And, um, yeah, he done what he had to do to get the win. I've <laughs> also, credit to Yard as well, though, because, um, you know, the kind of year he's had, man, he's had a really challenging year. And um, people forget that. And, you know, rather than give us boxes, and especially like himself, stick or whatever, man, you got to focus on the things where, you know, he's still getting in there. You know, fans want to see these fights. He's still getting in there uh, and, uh, you know, making entertainment, making a fight or whatever. And, um, yeah, man, credit to him. I, I respect what, um, you know, he's been through and come back and what he's doing. So it's good. I wish him the best. Do you think we would see the rematch? And if we do... Do you think it'll be any different to what we saw first time round? I'm not sure. To be honest, I don't, I'm not focusing on anything what any other boxers do or what they do. Um, as I say, man, I wish them both the best in their career. I've just got to, you know, focus on what I've got to do. I've got to give my, um, all my attention to myself uh, and put it in. But um, it, it'd be a good fight. Um, they're both good fighters. I don't see why it wouldn't be another entertaining fight. And um, may the best man win on that. All right, Shaq, we'll leave it there now. I'll leave you to get back to yeah. enjoying the rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you back in the ring this year. But for everybody who has followed your journey so far, everybody who will continue to follow it this year, what would you like to say to them? Yeah, I just want to thank them, man. Thank everybody for the um for their messages, especially over this time. You can't just, you know, in boxing, it's a sport where 
you know, you face these challenges, man, in training, um, we, we fight through injuries or whatever it may be. Um, you've just got to keep getting back on that horse and keep going, man. You know what I mean? It's a challenging sport. Everyone sees when things are going well in your career and um, they don't, you know, they don't see any challenging things that you face in training or whatever. At the end of the day, it's a little blimp in the road for me. I'll carry on. But I want to thank all the fans who stuck with me and um, all my sponsors who continue to um, support myself as well. And yeah, man, just everyone keep following my journey because this, you know, everyone going to say a lot different from me for my next fight as well. It's not to say I was doing anything badly in the last fight, but it's a learning process for me as well. You know, this sport, you can't stop learning. And that's what I'll continue to do. And I will continue to do and keep learning and improving myself as a fighter so till I do get to the top for sure. Shaq, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you for the first time this year. I'm sure it will not be the last. I'll keep in touch. Uh, look after yourself and thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. No worries, man. Take care, Andy. Thanks for having me.